Hello everyone. So Saturday, here we are again on another Saturday. Um, hope you've all enjoyed your week and enjoyed um, the sunshine. Today does look a bit more miserable at the moment, doesn't it? But hopefully um, the sun will come out later. So we are on to, um, we're back onto ballroom. Um, so we are doing the quick step. Um, obviously we're not going to do a full quick step again because of the space. So what we thought we would do, we thought we would do it a bit like last week with the samba. I will show you two moves and Ian then will do you, uh, do you? We'll show you two moves. And then what, there's going to, you're going to get two of me today because then at the end, um, there'll be another video and I will show, just do the four moves just to music, just so you get the idea of how they work to music. Okay, now the moves, um, these moves all evolve around um, the chasse. So the chasse is a really important step in the quick step. Um, you'll do it no matter kind of what level you are from. When you first come to learn the quick step to um, competitive level, chassés of some sort will always be um, in your quick step. So we thought that's why we would do these. Um, and then that way again, it's it's an exercise thing you can do um, in terms of because of space. I mean, and obviously, of course, if you've got your partner with you, you can try it with your partner as well. So just explain. Um, so I'm going to do um, a chasse, so a continuous chasse. And then I'm going to do the scatter chasse's. Ian's video, which obviously he will tell you anyway, he's doing the tipsy chasse's and the tipple chasse's. Okay, so basically I'll just show you the chasse. So a chasse is side, close, side. So whenever you hear anyone say a chasse, it is side, close, side. Okay, we have plays and twists on them as you will see as we're doing these videos, but that is the basic principle of a chasse. But what um, I'm gonna do on this first one is make it continuous. So it's what we call kind of like a zigzag effect. You probably won't get the full benefit of it in here because of the space. Um, but we'll do it so it continues one way and then comes back the other way, one way, then the other way. So we're gonna try and do four of each um, move, okay? So I'm gonna start with my weight on my left foot. I'll do it facing you first and then I will um, turn around. So I'm going to go forward on my right foot, forward. Then we'll go the chasse part, so the side, close side side close side then i'm going to go backwards and do side close side okay so let me just show you that again so i go forward side close side backward side close side okay so let me just do it uh so let's be this way so i'm going to go forward on my right foot so i go forward side close side backward side close side okay now, the idea of this, um, the idea of why we're doing this, it's because um, we're going to explain a little bit how it helps with the movement um, and things like that as well. So the slow, so the first step is a slow, so that's the driving step, so it's slow. And then now you can kind of get, the quick step has obviously that what we call the light and shade. Um, so you see that speed and that power. And that's, you can create that in a, in a chasse. So you've got the slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay. And then if I did it backwards, so I go slow, quick, quick, slow. So you've got that slight change of speed. Slow is two beats. A quick is one beat. Okay. So we'll go slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Then you will close your feet for this purpose and we'll go back first. So we're going to go on our left. So we'll go back on our left, back, side, close, side, forward, side, close, side. Okay. In terms of the footwork, the slow is a heel and then you push up onto the ball of the foot. So up onto the ball of the foot, toe, toe, toe. Remember to come down at the end because it's a slow. You can't stay up because the next step is going to be a heel. So you can't go from a high straight into a heel. So you must make sure that you lower at the end because it's a slow. And that then 
allows you to get that driving step. So we kind of get a gentle kind of pendulum motion. So we're going down. Okay, so it's swinging across the floor. Okay, so let me just show that again. So it would be slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. I'll close my feet. Now I'm going to go back on my left. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Remember the side, close side, which is the chasse. Always end with your feet open. Side, close side. Okay, then you take the step. You don't want to take another step. Okay, that's a chasse. If you can't get the principle of going forward and backwards or the space, because obviously, again here, um, you can just literally do slow, side, close, side. Slow, side, close, side. Slow, side, close, side. Slow, side, close, side. So you can always do that principle as well. Still getting the lowering on the slow, pushing out of the foot to push you across the floor, okay? Remember not to, don't try and reach with the moving leg. What a lot of people do, because the legs move, the leg that's moving seems more important because it's moving. So people start to kind of go like this with their leg, okay? Remember the most important is the leg that you're standing on. That's what's gonna go into create the power and the drive. You can only reach so far with the leg. So it's actually the leg I'm pushing out of which creates the power and then I collect with the moving leg. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now for the scatter chassis. Some of you may have done these and some of you are probably thinking, oh my God, I know this step. Okay, so this would be done at more of a higher level. You will see people do these um, a bit more advanced around the floor. We sometimes do put them in um, a routine for like a bit of fun. Um, and they're very good for stamina training um, also. So I'll show you again face and behind. And I might also probably be easy to do it sideways as well so you can get the principle. But again, I'm going to start on my right foot. So I'm going to go slow and slow. So side and side. So side and side. And then I'm going to go quick and quick and slow. So I go slow and slow and quick and quick and slow okay so i go slow and slow and quick and quick and slow you can if you want if you want at the end do step hops that's the slow to go the other way or you can just stop and then go back the other way so we've now move push off our left onto our right foot slow and slow and quick and quick and slow so let me show you this way. So I'll push off from my right foot. So I go slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Let me show you from side, it might be as well. So slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Okay, now quick and quick and. Okay, so we're quick is quick enough as it is. Um, it's a single beat. Quicker, quicker, and we're making it obviously even quicker. <laughs> so half, half one. Okay, so we're speeding up the quicker, quicker. And. So you, what you need to make sure is what we always say in quick step: high heels, low knees. So always make sure you have slightly flexed knees. Okay, don't ever lock lock out in any of the ballroom dances. Okay, always keep soft knees and on the balls of the feet. Okay, so as we push off, it's so this is all on the balls of the feet. And remembering to keep your body weight over the standing leg. Again, don't go. Okay, so it goes. So I'm push off my right leg. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Okay. What was I going to say? It was principle. I was going to say, um, what to remember, um, as I said about staying over the standing leg. Okay. 
even to the point when you do the quick end, quick end, it's very, very easy to try and pull yourself along the floor. Keep that, try and keep the base quite narrow. Don't, you haven't got to go wide with the legs, okay? The natural movement will allow you to travel. So don't feel that you have to go for distance. Your, the body weight and the flight across the floor, hopefully, that will make you move enough, okay? So slow and slow and quick and quick and slow, slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Also, one quick tip, don't go up. Try and keep, even though you're on the balls of the feet and you're pushing across, there is the kind of, like I say, pendulum motion. Oh, I, I always explain it, I feel like, it is a bit like I'm a, a tr an old train, like the wheel. So the motion is continually going round. So I've got that continuous motion. It's not going up and down. So I'm not going slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Okay. <laughs> That's very tiring. And with a partner, you would just be up and down all over the place. Okay. So keep the rise in the knees. Keep that compression in the knees. Okay. So... Also then as well, you will be able to change weight easier. You'll be able to change weight quicker. Okay, so let me just show the two moves again, um, one after the other. And then like I say, Ian's video will be showing the other two moves that we're gonna teach you today. And then you will have another video of me to music, just demonstrating the four, the four moves to music. Okay, so the first, so the, basic chassis or um, the zigzag pattern. So we've got forward on the right foot, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We'll close our feet now, we're gonna go back on our left foot, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Remember if you can't get that, just push down on the right foot, slow, quick, quick, slow. Push down the left foot, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, okay? Now for the scatter chassis. So we've got, pushing off again from our right leg, slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Now from our left leg, slow and slow and quick and quick and slow, slow and slow and quick and quick and slow, Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Okay, let me just, just start to absolutely throw it down here. And I'll just show it this way so it goes. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Slow and slow and quick and quick and slow. Hopefully you can see, I'm showing it this way because the softness in the knees. Okay, you need that buoyancy in the knees. Okay, so hope that was of use for you. Um, like I say, now Ian's video will follow, and then as I say, um, I will do two, um, the, the moves to music, which will be fun, um, especially the tipsies, you'll see. Um, so hope you enjoy um, the rest of your weekend. Hopefully the rain isn't too bad for you today, um, but it's still very warm anyway, isn't it? So. Um, Obviously, we were gutted um, about the 4th of July. Um, we were hoping in some way we would be able to be back, but obviously that isn't, not, it isn't possible yet. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be very, very soon. But obviously, as soon as we know, and we have um, an idea of how it will all work, because obviously there may have to be some slight changes, but we will um, keep you updated. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. And Morning guys, Saturday, so another new video for you. This week's quick step, and we're gonna do variations of a chasse. So the chasse is a side close side action, okay? Um, but there's different variations in both speed and positioning. So by now, Janine will have already have done two of these, and I'm gonna do two more. So. I'm going to be doing the tipple chassis and the tipsy. Okay, so start with our weight on the right, and we're going to just go with the left foot side, close side. So side, close, side. 
Okay, simple as that. So, weight on the right, side, close, side. Okay, so, for the tipple chassis, what you're gonna have is, if your weight's already on your right foot, you're gonna go left foot, and it's gonna go quick, quick, slow. Okay, and quick, quick, slow. From behind, weight on the right, and quick, quick, slow. And once more, and quick, quick, slow. And I don't know if you could see from when it was taken from behind, the rise of the feet. So what you have is, on the quick, quick, you've got on your toes. So quick, quick, slow. And it lowers down on the slow. Okay, so you've got, and up, 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 down. Okay, so that's how you get the variation on the timing. So you've got the quick, quick, slow to start to come down. So on the slow, you've got the two beats to lower it down. So that's us going to the left. So we've got quick, quick, slow. Then to go to the right, you're going to use your right foot and you're going to go quick, quick, slow. And again, left, quick, quick, slow. And to the right, quick, quick, slow. Okay, so it's the same both ways. The rise on the quick, quick and the start to lower on the slow. Push out to that leg, rise, start to lower, push out to that leg, rise, start to lower, and again, rise, start to lower. Okay, so there we go. So we've got, we've got the principle of that. Now, what you'll have whilst doing this, you'll start to uh, get a rotation if you're dancing in a partnership. So, from this position, in the corners, you'd have rise, and if you see, I'm changing the angle, and then rise, changing the angle. So throughout two sections, we've managed to turn 180 degrees. So if we started it here again, so we'll go quarter turn, push, quarter turn, to give you a 180 degree angle. If you're approaching a corner, obviously your angle is only a 90 degree angle, so you wouldn't need to turn as much. So if I was in this section of a room and I wanted to get around the corner, I'd go into the corner, push, into the, out of the corner, sorry, not in, I've already been in, but it's then changed my angle, okay? So it's just continuously turning. And the thing to remember for a leader, if you're going forwards into the corner, it is your left side that's going to come around and then your right side goes backwards here to turn you around. And if you're a follower going backwards into the corner, you're gonna go with your right foot side first. So you're gonna go, your right foot brings your right side around, then your left foot brings your left side around. Okay? So it's still the same principle, which just got rotation. If you can't get the rotation, don't worry. Just think about the, the cyclo side and uh, the positioning on it. So remember, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, and one more, up, 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 down, okay? Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, so that's the first one, that's your tipple chassis. Okay, so the next one, the uh, tipsy. Okay, so the timing with this is going to be quick and quick, quick and quick, so it is a lot faster because you've not got the slow that you'd normally have, and the and splits the, splits the half, okay? So you basically got three steps over two beats, because you've got quick and quick, quick and quick, okay? But the principles are still the same with the step, the side, close side. So you've got quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick, okay? These can also be used on a corner, as well to manoeuvre around. Um, however, obviously because of the nature of the speed of it, 
you haven't got that slow to absorb, so it has to be a lot faster, okay? So, we'll do right foot, we're gonna step with the left, and we go quick and quick, 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 okay? Now from behind, and quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick. Now, if we were doing this on a corner, we would go left foot to the side, so quick and quick, quick and quick. Same principle will turn you, it's just faster, okay? So, full speed we go quick and quick, quick and quick. Okay, so it is fast, this one. Um, but the steps are still the same. Side, close, side. Side, close, side. It's just quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick, quick and quick. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, that's uh, another little bit that you can add and try and play with the music and play with the position on the floor as well. Give it a try. I appreciate it, it is a lot faster, but we need to push ourselves with this dancing. So. You've got the first one where you've got quick, quick, slow. I forgot what order I did them in. And quick, quick, slow. Okay. Then you've got the second one where it's quick and quick, quick and quick. Okay. I hope that gives you something to try this weekend. If there's anything in particular you'd like us to do a video on as well, please get in touch. Let us know. Give us some suggestions as well. We were hoping that with the news coming out this week that we'd be working towards a date to uh, to get the studios open. But unfortunately, that's been delayed. Um, however, we're still keen to get back. So in the meantime, if there's anything you want from us, any suggestions you want us to do, any different videos or even different formats, let us know. Look forward to seeing you all soon.